Check, check, check. One, two, three. All right. Uh, we're good? Cool, cool, cool. So, Steve and Daisy. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. 54%, man. Well, I, I don't know. Like, As a victim of Quid Steve, it's not fun. Well, I it's mean, good, but it's not fun. It's good for you? No, no, no. no. His Steve is good, okay, okay. but it's not fun to fight. Right. I mean, like, you don't even know what to expect. He's just kind of... It, it feels like he's doing random, random shit. Silly, wacky character. Yeah, I mean, by nature, that's what Steve is. And I feel like, I mean, j by watching the his set with you, like he he did some calculated stuff. And I gotta say, even though I I'm not usually a big fan of Steve as a character, I was pretty impressed by by Quid's oh, performance. Oh yeah, no, Quid is an amazing player, through and through. Very smart, very fundamental man. Uh, if you want coaching from him on Metify, he's got a Metify page. But you know, pretty good player. Yeah, yeah, no, and. That was a pretty good plug right there. Uh, we are not sponsored, unfortunately. I sponsor Quid. I am Quid sponsor. That's very me uh, myself. And I mean, I. you probably are pretty good at coaching him yourself. Uh, I don't anyways, it, but back to the match. So Ling Ling versus Quid. Uh, Quid opting for the Steve today, very interestingly, and Ling is doing a very good job at combating it. Um, very hard to commentate that because I don't really know Steve too well. Um, uh, one thing I can notice is that Ling Ling is 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 doing is playing pretty patiently here, because uh, Ling Ling probably knows this Steve matchup as much as the rest of us do. Uh, but I don't know. It seems like he's doing some pretty like matchup oriented. I don't know. Steve's one of those characters where like if you don't know how to fight him, you will lose, guaranteed. Mm. And like Ling, borderline PGR level player. He travels a lot. He's gotten out there. I'm sure he's played a good Steve at some point or another, whether it be Yoni or. That's the only Steve I know. Uh huh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure he's played a couple of good Steves, uh, given how much he travels and explores the world of Smash Bros. Yo, so <laughs> nice edge guard with the yeah, turn, yeah. forcing Steve to go low and that glide recovery, very, very interesting recovery. Um, good anti air from Quid. Read that jump hard. Yeah, the, the way Ling Ling uh, edge guards Steve and just maintains his his advantage here is definitely a, a quality of someone who knows the matchup. Uh, so he, he probably has played a really good Steve before. Quid definitely using that grab uh, a lot. It seems like he just, you know, once you're in his range and like you're combating him a little bit, he wants that grab. You know he's going to go for it. Yeah. I think Ling is doing a very good job at avoiding that grab. He's he's weaving out of his, his verse range and just his range in general really well. Playing good footsies with him, you know, good good set of footsies. Oh, there goes, oh, drops the combo, unfortunately. Okay, Quid goes a little higher there in the recovery, no, knowing what was coming. Quid is very good with conversions, you know, he's able to just react to hitting up tilt. Even right. though it's such a quick move, and there's very little time to react. Ooh, block stopping him and making Link eat an up smash. Very yeah, it, it looks like Quid is trying to take this game back as dire as it, as okay. it seems. Well, I think something interesting to note is that it looked like towards the end, Quid was, you know, he was slowing down. He was like, okay, you know, I want to play the distance games. He set up a couple blocks there. I went for materials. He really learned how to slow it down by the end of it. And I think, you know, I think that's the glimmer of hope we see in Quid's eye. I think, can he keep playing like that? And can he build upon that new play style he just realized throughout the rest of the set? Right. And, and can he do that without getting hit by Peach's side B randomly like that? Yeah, no, I mean, Ling, I've been watch, like, watching him play throughout the night. He seems very, like, sporadic with the side Bs almost, you know? People don't expect them, and it's very hard to react to, especially when you're not at max distance. So, people keep getting hit by them a lot. Yeah, I mean, sporadic, but also calculated. Yeah, no, 100%. Uh, Ling likes that side B. Definitely using it a lot. And there are certain heights at which he can use it where... Uh, he can, they kind of auto-cancel, and you know it seems like you can punish them, but you actually can't. Speaking of big damage combos, uh, that was crazy. 54% right off the bat from Ling. Uh, Quid yep. in disadvantage, already almost a kill percent, you know? Um, very strong start from Ling, very dominant. 
Yeah, absolutely. And right there, uh, Ling Ling kind of weaved out with side B and did not get punished for it. Yeah, he hit the very end of that, so it was a little safe. All canceled. Yeah. So, small battlefield. Interesting pick from Quid. Why do you think he picked this stage? Uh, he probably wants, you know, as little room as possible for Ling Ling to move around and, and get out of his range. Because uh, I think Quid really likes having close quarter combat uh, with Steve. 100%. Be, I guess. Yeah, we did see, as you mentioned, first game, we did see uh, Quid weave in and out of Ling Ling's range a lot. Or, sorry, Ling Ling weave in out of uh -huh. Quid's range a lot. You know, you mentioned that game one, and this smaller stage gives him less of an opportunity to really do that. Yeah, and now we want to see uh, if Quid wants to win. He's going to have to combine his, his more defensive play with... Uh, him knowing how to use close quarter combat. 100%. So, quit on ledge right now. Ling Ling just holding this advantage day really well. Ooh. Okay, that was a weird... Interesting uh, reversal. Yeah. Ling just dropped the uh, ledge dropping. And... Oh, good pivot grab. Reading Ling shielding. Yeah, this, this is just kind of hard to watch for Steve, honestly, because uh, he, he'll have... Uh, Peach in disadvantage, and then he'll just he just kind of just watch him float up there and not really be able to do anything about it. Like he has really good burst options, like horizontally, but vertically he's just kind of like swinging his axe upwards, not really <laughs> accomplishing anything. Steve's a very funny character. <laughs> it's animation. There's a side B again. Well, generally, you know, I, I think what I said about the end of game one is pretty spot on. You know, we're seeing a much slower match now. Despite Ling Ling's explosive start, this match is already taking a bit longer than the last. Very, right. very slow. Quid's chilling, laying back, just mining for those resources. He's got Diamond on deck. Oh, not sure if he got it there. I don't think he did. Uh, oh, no, he, he did. did. Okay. It didn't seem like he did to me either. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, I, I feel like he could have uh, swung for a back air there. Nah, to, that, to, down to air, that down air is very tricky. It has a uh, second hitbox when it lands. And I don't know if you really could contest that. I think you just kind of got to eat it. Maybe you could roll in between it? I'm not sure. Ooh, a stitch face from Ling Ling. Now oh, Quid has what? it. Oh, went for the crazy conversion. I respect it. The block saving Ling Ling. Did save him there. Very poor placement on Quid's part. Okay, got the back air anyways. Yeah, just good, good coverage percent. in general. We're on last stock here, so maybe Quid can just pull pull a crazy combo off here. Oh, oh bomb. okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. That's a that block did not help. Very, very unfortunate for Quid. Ling Ling with just the right amount of luck. Got that bomb. Booyah. Alright, are they gonna run it back? They're gonna run it back. Interesting pick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. After after the end of game one, and we see him developing a more campy play style. I figured he'd want like Kalos or somewhere to run around. Maybe Ling Ling smart uh, smart bands are preventing Quid from doing that. But even then, PS2 is a pretty big stage. And I would imagine Ling Ling, given he won there, didn't ban that. Yeah, I agree totally. And uh, now that we're seeing kind of the opposite Ooh, uh, from game two. We're seeing the total opposite from game two now. Uh, Quid holding a, a pretty massive lead here. Oh, that was an interesting trade. Ooh, and he gets right a fully charged up smash. All right, Quid with a very strong start. Very yeah, I guess Ling Ling thought he could mix up the timing by not mashing, but that Quid totally right backfired back. on him. Maybe Quid was just waiting to react for uh, Daisy to pop out. That could be a thing. Okay. Oh, Ooh. yeah, I think that's a dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I have Quid I've been hit by fire. that. <laughs> myself as as an inkling player I've been hit by that and still died that's a really good uh, mix up there yeah Quid with a very strong lead right now let's see how Ling Ling decides to come back and you know Quid is playing a little bit more aggressive this game he's definitely boxing Ling Ling a little bit more despite having a good lead but you know as I say that he sets up those blocks and kind of just starts mm -hmm. waiting you know, now Ling Ling, on top of having to close his deficit in both stocks and percent, also has to, you know, Ling Ling, Ling, Ling is the one who has to approach now, not Quid. Because Quid is the lead, so Quid doesn't really care if he just sits there. Excellent, Dude. excellent conversion from Quid. What a dominant game. Right, right after uh, losing his, his, pick, uh, his pickaxe there from the forward air. 
he still knew exactly what to do, and he went for that up smash. What an absolutely dominant game three. Oh, my goodness. That was crazy. That was just a good showcase of Quid, uh, like you said before, reacting to when he hits the moves and knowing how to convert uh, with Steve of all characters. Uh, that was just a really good game there. And now let's see if Quid can ride this momentum to, to game four. So they're going to go to town now. This is a much more spacious stage. Uh, so Ling Ling is, is, is going to like this. Yeah, Ling Ling is definitely the one in this matchup who wants the space, as we've seen from his play style. Despite Quid playing a little bit slower, it's still yeah, like, Ling's preference, I guess. This is not all bad for Quid either, uh, because, he, like I said before, he was kind of developing a, a bit more of a defensive play style, and he gets to practice it a lot more on a more spacious stage like this. Now we're at FD. Yep, just setting up the blocks. He's already got the diamond. This early on in the game is is pretty good. Now he's kind of looking for some more early kills. Interesting block usage there. Really just camping Ling right now. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Percents are just about even, but Quid with a slight, slight lead. They're, they're giving each other a taste of each other's medicine of, of camping. Because uh, of how Daisy can float above him, like right there. And and Steve can kind of essentially do the same thing with his blocks. And just Ooh, make his way above you, over you. Ah, uh, Ling's edge guarding of this character is so good. He knows exactly how Steve has to recover. Steve's... Steve's recovery, despite being able to glide and kind of have some flexibility to it, is very linear. Uh, yeah, that's very true. Like, you know how he has to recover. It's not a very good recovery. Like, if Ling you're Ling Steve Ling and you're off stage, Ling Ling is going to be there in front of you. Oh, yeah. No matter Excellent. what. Excellent at covering that recovery, for sure. Showing that he does know the matchup, I feel like. Good back air out of Yeah, here part. we go again. Just a, an amazing showcase of... Uh, how Ling Ling can hold his advantage against this character. Just patience. Just... Like, you see these decently big gaps of time between people getting hits. Mm. Whether it be Ling Ling Quid initiating the interaction, it's very... Like, you know, it's been already like 10 seconds since someone's landed a hit. Another, Ooh, bomb. another bomb. That's so unfortunate. Okay. And we see Quid kind of smiling at that. It's yeah. just... <laughs> That's you know, at least he's a good sport about it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ling Ling with a 3 to 1 stock lead. I mean, from his dominant uh, it's only game. growing. Oh. Okay. Well. Yeah, that was a 3 stock. Right uh, back at you. You know, that's what Ling Ling said. Yeah. Hey, he he said, let's go town. Let me camp you out. And that's that. All right, I got to play.